Tonight I'm going to be doing something that I have never done before and I am so excited to be doing this. Tonight I am going to be photographing a comet for the first time. So tonight is the first clear night that I've had in about six weeks. So I'm really excited to be getting back into astrophotography, back out here in the garden imaging. And it couldn't have come at a better time because right now we've got Comet Neowise that we can image. I'm also going to be doing some deep sky astrophotography as well. So Comet Neowise can be found in the constellation of Auriga near to the bright star Capella. And at my latitude at 51 degrees, the ideal time to be out imaging this comet is sort of between 2.30 and 3.30. Depends on how clear your view is to the northeastern part of the sky, which is where you'll find the comet. If you're in an elevated position, you might be able to start seeing it any time after midnight up until dawn. Um, if, like me, you don't really have an elevated position that's, that's fairly local to you, um, then any time after two o'clock yeah, you'll, you'll probably be fine. So obviously for observing it would be better if you had binoculars. I don't have any binoculars so I'm going to hope that I can see it with the naked eye but either way I'll be taking some images of it. So if this is your first time here go ahead and click on that subscribe button now and also make sure to hit the bell notification so that you never miss another upload and also if you like the video please do give it a thumbs up. All right quick update it is now just coming up to 20 to three in the morning. I've just uh, stolen the wife's car and taken a little drive just to the edge of the village into a, into a lay-by. Um, I had had this um, really nice shot thought out, um, sort of overlooking uh, a lake and, um, and then the, the comet in the background. One of the lakes has been closed off, so I can't get to it. And the second one, um, I got to the car park just in front of the lake and there was um, loads and loads of caravans pulled up in there. So uh, I didn't really fancy that. So um, <laughs> I've come I've come to the edge of the village, um, it parked up in a lay-by um, overlooking a field and I can just about see the comet um, over um, some big floodlights. Um, so I'm going to try and set up uh, a good good shot now but uh, it's really exciting I can actually see a comet with my naked eye it is absolutely brilliant all right I've got the camera set up now so you can see uh, the lights over there that's um, actually a military base um, <laughs> probably <laughs> probably now see me standing in a distance taking pictures of it and uh, I think I'm a Russian spy or something but um, well we'll be fine um, look at that oh my god can you believe it and then of course, there's a power line going right through the middle of it, but still, absolutely incredible. I am so, so happy about that. Not so happy about the clouds that have rolled in 30 seconds after I've arrived, um, but still, nevertheless, um, you can see it with, I'm, I'm looking um, right over the army base, which is lighting up that part of the sky quite um, quite a bit. and. Um, you can still see it with with the naked eye, um, the comet. So that is that is brilliant. And uh, so hopefully for those of you that live in sort of more light polluted skies than I do, um, we'll still be able to see it with the naked eye as well. But um, this is just a um, one second exposure f5. That was ISO 3200 um, for it to look like that. That was just the first one that I I took. Um, so obviously need a better position because of that power line, but um, to be honest, I can't really see a thing, so I don't know if that power line is really close to me or if it's all the way over towards the army base. So I'm going to have a play around with the with the shot and see if I can make it uh, look any better, because um, <laughs> that's just typical of my look. All right, I've changed my um, position slightly. I don't recommend you do this, but I'm stood right in the middle of a 50 mile an hour road, um, but it's not very busy so no one's come past in the whole time I've been here but you can see typical <laughs> absolutely typical that the clouds are coming in but um there it is there is Comet Neowise and uh, this shot is um at 200 mil one second exposure f5 uh, ISO 3200 um uh, so I'm gonna carry on playing around with the settings maybe take um a bit of a time lapse and stuff like that but um i'm really happy with that and the sky is absolutely stunning when you're stood in the middle of this um sort of field where i am i've just taken this at 75 mil uh, i'm really pleased with that as you can see it's um 
It's actually starting to get uh, a bit lighter outside now. Um, it's just gone three in the morning, so I'm going to head home. I'm going to tear down the uh, the deep sky rig because it's too light to do any sort of um, deep sky imaging now. And I'm also going to try and find out where the hell I just put the wife's car keys because um, they're not in my pockets. So um, <laughs> hopefully I find them. If not, I'll be calling her to, uh, to come and rescue me. Uh, so quick update. I found the car keys, um, stupid me, left them in the uh, in the ignition. But there we go. Um, luckily, I can now drive home. Um, that was absolutely incredible. And um, I think I'm actually going to sit here for the next sort of few minutes until it gets too light to see it. But um, that's, my, that's my first ever, ever comet. Um, and I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon. So I've got a few different pictures to share with you. Um, at the end of this video so make sure you stick around for that i'll share the, the uh, settings that i used and also um, all of the equipment that i've used tonight will be in the description down below if you've been photographing this comet do leave a comment below let me know how you got on i'm now going to go home and get back into bed for a few hours so thank you so much for watching please do remember to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up and i'll catch you guys next time